And we're back. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. I can now bombard from three tiles away. That is incredible. Interesting. There we go, that's good. Let's check all the way down here. Make sure you're not doing any anything sneaky. Uh, scientific theory sounds good. Assign delegates. You should enact mine. I think do you have any world wonders? I don't think I do, but all I have is like the Great Wall, so. Is it natural wonders or world wonders that it, that it applies to? What's a caravel? Uh, it's like a type of ship. It's uh, the first ship that can. It's the first ship that can go onto uh, ocean tiles. Well, the Galileus can. No, it can't. The Galileus can only go onto. Uh, uh, it goes on all the dark tiles. Oh, does it? Okay. Well, all right, let's bring you over to there. Bring you over to there. You have a lot of boats, man. <laughs> it's almost like you're preparing for something. But what? <laughs> no. Oh. Ban wine! Why are you banning wine? Because <laughs> it's bad for your. Well, I don't know what it's bad for. <laughs> Oh my god. And plus how, about, how about a world religion, Judaism, now that you have it also? Beats me. Everybody gets a bonus when we all play nice. Alright, let's look over here. Do that. Okay, let's leave that there. Leave that there. Should I trust you? Oh. Currently, yes. Currently, yes. I don't know, man. You attacked me out of spite last time. I didn't even do anything, and you're like, just bam, start attacking me, and you ruined my attack against you. Yeah, the, because uh... you're at Zanzibar, and that was my trade route, and then you're already half weakened, so yeah, that's worth it. Oh my god. You would have done that too. No, I wouldn't have. Yes, if it's your only valuable trade route. <laughs> Die, Alpha 108. You must not survive. It's not like I have eight musket men coming. what you get for being rude. <laughs> Eight musket men coming from where? <laughs> You'll find out. Don't worry. Oh, don't make me have to build stuff in my capital. 
Choose a free tech. I would like industrialization. That is coal. None of your troops have landed yet. They're not going to. I'm definitely dead on this one. Why? Because I can't attack you because I my city's on the side. What do you mean your city's on the side? What do you mean your city's on the side? Nothing. You're not allowed to kill them. Don't kill them. You actually really hurt some of my boats. I already killed three. Three? You didn't kill three. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Where did you kill them from though? That'll be a useful one. Another boat gone. Army isn't going to be big enough, I don't believe. I think you may be correct. But that's a simple, simple fix. Bankrupting your own economy? I'm getting 160 one. gold per turn, 450 in science. I'm not even close to bankrupting. I'm hitting positive now. Now that a war starts, my money and economy comes up, right? That makes sense. Oh, you're finally sending in some artillery. It's about time. Okay, I just need to do something real quick. Pagdoa. Pagdoa. What, do Pagdoas not give you happiness or something? Mm -mm. Even if you take Madrid, I'm fine. Because I still have so many more cities. Taking long there, buddy. Yeah, no, I'm I'm buying a bunch of things with my uh, uh thing. Ooh, I could do electricity. That gives me aluminum. I guess I'm gonna have to do that. Um, let's go ahead and hide that there. Bring this back around, and we're gonna want to pillage, and then heal, and then do trading post next turn.
stop it. Okay. You want to play like that? I'm dead anyways on this. Bang. 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 Put some artillery down. <laughs> I just need a foothold on your island. That's all I want. That is my dream. Is to have a foothold. After you s blindly attacked me last time. Because you're rude. <laughs> uh huh. You made me angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping you take that city, actually. I'm hoping. Really? In this case, yes. Why? Why would you because hope I have that? Because a different side. Liberate the city by Isabella. Oh, that's an interesting thought. I can bring Isabella back into the game. Oh my and god. <laughs> what would you do if I did that? <laughs> uh... I'm kidding, I'll create a puppet, Jesus. Alright, let's do that. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, caravan, do that. Dude, you're, I only managed to take over one city and I needed that many troops to friggin' do it. Uh, that's not what I'm worried about. Wait, why are you worried? Okay, well, seeing as I don't trust your scheme and there's not enough land units there to bankrupt you, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you're coming at me with everything that you have to try and uh, hurt me where it's really gonna hurt. So, if I were me, what would I do? I think I would send the strongest unit I have towards the next person's capital. <laughs> What's that? Oh, no, it's a barbarian Galileus. Never mind. Okay, let's move you that way. Land lock. Bam. Do that. Heal you up. You stay there. Yeah, this match is over for me. Why is it over for you? Nothing's quick enough to get there. Nothing would be there in time. Because you're too focused on this right now. You're trying to. You are trying to go over to my capital. Well, in all fairness, I can't blame you for trying, but it won't work. Nothing's, nothing's going to be there in time. That's the sad part. The problem is it won't work, though. Yeah, I know, because you're too isolated even at that. No, I'm not isolated. I have half the friggin' map. You could, you could pick and choose any one of my cities you'd want to attack. The reason why is because 
I'm starting to mass produce uh, artillery on my island, and I have boats over there. Even if I barely survived this war, I my economy would die to come back on the next one. Dude, you've done amazing, though. I did okay this time. You, so far, have given me the most headache out of anybody I've ever gone against. And that includes Matthew. I can live with this one. <laughs> I would honestly say that. Like, you've done really well. You've impressed me. And considering you've only had the game for, like, not even a week. <laughs> Getting there. I <laughs> almost had a week. Yeah. Okay. Um... Now, I don't... I want to kind of find where you've been uh, hiding these troops, so I'm going to shuffle these around, and I'll find them. Mark my words, I will find them. Okay, let's put you there. Bam. 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 My other units of musketmen aren't there, and Beish the only city that I can have that won't die is Shanghai. That's the only one I own that won't die. Well, if Shanghai. I take over, you realize if I take over your capital, I win the game. Does I don't have to take over any other city except for Beijing. If I take over Beijing, exactly. I win. I had to take over Madrid because it was Isabella's original capital. So in and order, the sad part is that I have no way of protecting Beijing. Why? Nothing. Because it's directly on the side. So it's no corner, no nothing. It's all naval that can just kill it in, just in seconds. Ever seen the TV show Destroyed in Seconds? Yeah, it's that. Oh my god, I found aluminum everywhere. Choose research. Oh, I want to build submarines. Okay, let's pull that one back. Push that one in. I'm going to try my hardest to take over Beijing, okay? All right. If you can ward off this attack, you'll survive. Because I can't really bring an army over fast enough to uh, do any serious damage at that point. But uh, I'm just moving all my troops in place. Here's the thing. I don't physically think I have enough boats to kill Beijing. But I know I have enough boats to kill all of your uh, uh, units that are by there. Where the hell are these musket men you're talking about? I have to find them. Take out Beijing, it won't matter where they are, though. I know. But it's still, it's nerve-wracking, knowing that you could surprise attack me in any second. Yeah, I'll admit it now, they're too far off from where you are. Like, you're about to take Shanghai. And then um, next turn. I can't take it this turn. Crap. 
that was a close match. That was a good it game. It was though. it was very good. That was a good game. I can live with that. But... I think I think you can you can sense the impending defeat. <laughs> I can feel it this time, but I did take out a whole bunch of supplies, <laughs> and I did take one person out of the game, so I can live with this match, but well, yeah, I have I have five triremes, four Galileas, and my eight musket men. that's why I was so bankrupt. Yeah. And they are probably about four south of, or like eight south of Valette. Yeah. Valletta. They're below Valletta. That was pretty close. Yeah, it's too late. I've already started to. Uh, I already Beijing have. Beijing, Well, in Kyoto, which is my capital, um, I have uh, an artillery next turn, and it'll be a really. It'll be level three artillery, so I'll be able to kill a boat in one shot with it. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I and I have enough money to buy a. Boat. How did you get the science and technology so fast? Because I built libraries in all my cities early on. I built the wonders for. Uh, there's a, a a national wonder which basically every civ can build. I need you to end your turn whenever you can. Um. There's a national wonder that everybody can build that gives you more science. And I purposely built a few cities beside mountains that way I can build observatories. And I have I've built every single science building you can build, and then I uh, research policies down rationalism, which give you a lot of science bonuses. So I'm looking at Kyoga, and it looks like it's like built up like a town. It's only level sixteen, but yeah, it's a city. Hmm. My other one is only a level nine. Oh wow, mine's a level sixteen, but mine's still small. Hmm. Odd. And I'm completely. You can end your turn. Oh, oh. okay then. <laughs> it end completely... it. I think it'll be two turns before I can take Shanghai. Anyway, Beijing, it'll take me a couple of turns. These boats are pretty, uh, pretty tough, eh? Yeah. They're the most powerful boat I can make. The only thing more powerful than these boats are uh, the new style submarines, destroyers, and stuff like that. It's the most powerful wooden ship you can build. Japanese style frigate. Mm. Like you can see, I've got pyramids. I've got all kinds of stuff, but it's already gone. Ugh. Huh? I can't attack you with everything. I have all these boats there, but I can't, uh... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, eh? No, I'm not, it's not what you did, it's, uh... I didn't do something properly. What did you do? Oh, fuck, he did that. All right, well, in that case, I'll just do that, and then I'll replace it with that one. <laughs> now I'm passing around. Oh, I, have, I have too many boats. I can't physically fit them all over there. Coyotes. There as well. Okay. It would take me two to three turns to beat you at this point. Yeah. Beijing is slowly falling, so. Yeah. That's what my fault was. I didn't explore the map even at the beginning, even. All I explored was everything around. I only here. found you maybe, what, 30 turns ago? Maybe a little bit more? What turn is this? Uh, we're only turn 209. Only? Yeah. <laughs> Try to build a privateer. Keep her going. You don't have to worry about my musketmen and my entire mil military coming at you because they're still like eight tiles away. <laughs> and they're incredibly slow. So They're coming down be below Valette? 
Yeah. Uh, I think I might find them next turn with one of my uh, privateers. Way below Valette. Like south, so south? Right. south, south? South, south. Like on the island? I think I have the musket man. Not Did sure. you go by Brussels yet? I don't know. I don't see anything below Valette. I'm only. I went right across the bottom, like skimmed the bottom the whole way there. So you're on land then? Yes. Oh. My triremes. Hmm. Boom. Oh, that's awesome. Plus one range. Now I can attack you from three tiles away with that boat. <laughs> think next turn I can take Beijing. Maybe. Maybe. I can't find these troops you're talking about, though. <sighs> Close. Delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. I'm just sending this random musket men. Yeah. What the? Oh. <laughs> he just dies in one turn. <laughs> oh wow, he's still alive! Look at that. Hmm. I have great generals on their way, also, to steal your territory. I'll attack you from two fronts if I have to. <laughs> Look at how big your military is now from what it was. All right, you ready to lose the game? You ready to lose? Three. Oh, uh, wait. Two. I won't. I won't. You won't lose. Not this time. Not, not this turn. Next turn, you'll lose. I have to attack your Beijing with a, with a land unit, and I only have two boats that are capable of doing that. Yeah, you won't. You won't kill them both. <laughs> Plus, I have like 10 more, so it won't matter even if you did. Alright, let's move that in. Move that in. That in. And that to there. Hit that button. Come on. I'm going to try and do this fast so we can end this. Where the hell are you? I want to find those troops you were talking about. I don't see them, though. I've skimmed all along the bottom, and I can't find them. Choose research. Oh, I could have ironclads in six turns. Oh, well. Next oh, those turn. are even modern artillery. Are you ready? Bang, bang, you die. <laughs> the world has been Mo ah, 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 ah. Yes! Victory! Victory for Japan! Wait, just one more, one more turn. <laughs> <laughs> they put that as an option. Yeah, if you if you click it, it'll let you keep playing. <laughs> I can't even. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we're gonna end uh, end this. That's it. This was a nice little series, though. I had fun. What about you? That was great. I liked it. That was yeah. pretty great. That's pretty good. Maybe we should get some. Uh, see if maybe we can get one or two more people in, or maybe we can do like a. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll play maybe like a co-op one, and then maybe we'll do uh, another one where we do like a free-for-all. And who knows, maybe that time we won't do war against each other. We should get some info, input on what kind of time we should do, because right now we're in AC, BC, or different ages, just what time they want us to do it in. Yeah, like we should probably start in the Renaissance era, and then just that well, way within, within like 
60 turns, we'll have modern units. Mm -hmm. And then within 120 turns, we'll have tanks and stuff and planes and, like, aircraft yeah. carriers. Well, all right. So what can we do? Um, well, I can tell you what I can do. I can end this episode. Do, okay, next time we should do something like modern era, atomic era, different kind of stuff. Mess around with it. But... Yeah, that sounds good. Giant death robots for the win. <laughs> <laughs> all right, YouTube. Thank you for watching. And if you like the series, please like all the videos and subscribe. Um, this has been Raging Geek, and I'll see you guys next time.